Hi, this is Mama Liz, and I'm doing a short instructional video on how to use DocuSign and ZipForm. Basic, basic class. When you get, a, you have signed up for an account with DocuSign, you will be get an email from Liz Lodhok via DocuSign. It will look just like this, except it won't have Stokes Graham, and it'll have Liz Lodhok. You see the orange box? You click on Activate. When you click on activate, it's going to bring you to a screen like this. It's going to have your name, email already in it. You type your password in that you use for your email, and then click login. It's going to take you to a page similar to this, and you go over here, go down to preferences. It's on the right with the blue, and your photograph won't be there yet, but that drop down, and you go down to the Preferences, click on Preferences, takes you to a page very similar to this. A little, it will look slightly different because I'm an administrator, but go to the left, this column on the left, you see Member Profile. Go down to you find Manage Identity, Manage Identity. Click on that and it will bring you to a page with a lot of choices for your signature line. I've already made mine obviously, but you make the choice of which look you like for your name and your initials. And then you can also put a photograph in here. Once you've done that, you are through with DocuSign for now. You are set up. So then let's go to ZipForms now. You go to ZipFormPlus.com, Z-I-P-F-O-R-M-P-L-U-S.com. You'll come up with a page like this. You're going to type in the name of your ZipForm account, which would be whatever uh, Stokes Gramlin has set up for you. Orlando Vincent in the Mount Pleasant office. If you've never been into your ZipForm account before, do not put anything in this password box. Just click sign in and then it will ask you for a password. So then put in the password that you want to use. Then click sign in. It's going to take you to a page very similar to this. You won't have all of these things on it. But on the right you see your name there's a drop down. Click on profile. It will take you to this page about me. You can fill in all this information on yourself. You can add a photograph if you'd like. But the most important thing here for you is go to settings. Settings right here. And when you go to settings, automatically it's going to show up Zip Logic Digital Ink for your signature. You do not want that. You have to change it to DocuSign. It defaults to Ziploc, but you want to change it to DocuSign. And when you go to DocuSign, then you have to type in your email address and your password for DocuSign account. Then you're going to hit Save. Up here you've got Save and Close. You hit Save. Then you're going to make absolutely sure that it still says DocuSign. When you've done that, now you're ready to do a transaction. So I'm going to go to this training that I've I set up something here, a form that we can maybe get in very quickly. Well, let's look at the buyer agreement because that is going to be one that you use with all your buyer clients, hopefully. I've already put some silly stuff in here. Um, so then we... Uh, we have myself, I have Susie Q as a buyer, and I am the sales associate. So you put that in. Now, you're going to e-sign. Go up to the top. And of course, if you have other contracts and things like that, you will fill them all in before you do this. If you go at the top and you do not see this e-sign symbol, then click on more, and you, it will come up. So click on e-sign, then sign this form. That takes you to a page. It's going to show up my name because I put myself in as a selling agent and I have to put my email address. And then Susie Q is a buyer and put her email address. Then, if you have another buyer, maybe you've got a second buyer. Maybe that buyer is um, Boyd Lodho. 
and you put his email address in. So you put the emails in and then you finish that, you're done with that section. So click, and the way we have it set up right now is that the selling agent would sign first and then the buyer would sign, buyer one would sign second, which is Susie Q, and buyer two would sign third. So click done. And over here, and if you want to change the way this, uh, we've got to edit this buyer two because it didn't keep that. And put the email address in. You notice where I did that, it was right here with this edit this button. You can edit these things. And for whatever reason, it didn't keep the email addresses here. So now I've got to put them in. It's got my name, but not my email address. Save it. And then we've got to edit this one and put Susie Q's email address in. And save that. Now we've got them all in there. And if you want to change the order, if you want the buyers to sign before you, you just drag it up like this. Put your cursor and drag it up. So now we've got the buyer signing first and the agent signing last. Okay, so now we go to next. Let's bring it up the document. This little box sort of tells you what you do, that you drag a tag to wherever you want it. Um, it's automatically set up with the initials uh, because zip form has a spot for the initials. So if you want the date, you can go to page two like this over here on the right, page one, page two. If you see all these parts already marked for the initials. So some of these, you want them necessarily to mark all of them. But if you wanted them, see that's Boyd Lodho and that's Susie Q. They've got them separated there. Places for the buyers. Now, it does not bring up an automatic place for the sales associate signature. So if you want that, you go in here and you put signature. But you have to, first of all, go up to this box. You see these? It's got all the people in there. It's got Liz Loho, selling agent. That's buyer one, buyer two. So now I want Liz Loho's signature. So you click on that, then drive, draw that signature here. So then that'll be where... Liz Lodhope signs. These other people are already set up. Boyd and Susie Q set up for there. If you want the date, because you know we always like the date. Now they've got the place for the date on the signature lines, but they don't have the date by the initials. And I like to have the date everywhere. So over here we have a date signed. Click on that date sign and just drag it to where you want it. Right there. And if you want it on the next page on these, you put the date there as well. So the, this date sign is going to be very, very important when you're negotiating a contract back and forth. And you've got changes which need to be initialed and dated. So you want to make sure you put that date on there. And really, you're done with that now. So we want ready to send it. You can preview it if you'd like first and make sure you've got things where you want them. So then you go hit to send. It's already sent it. So what will happen now, it will go to, I believe we had it to the buyers first. So it will go to them and then they will sign it one and then it goes to the second one. That person signs it. Then it comes back to you for signature before it is a finished document. I hope this helps. Call me. Feel free to call me at any time if you would like. Also, please do not witness these signatures. You are not there when they sign it, probably. So do not witness these signatures because you are not there when they sign it. So do not witness. Thanks. Hope this helps and have fun.